Welcome back to my channel. Um, so this week's studio vlog. Uh, what am I going to do? Uh, I got a pretty lengthy video to edit. Um, that is over. Um, not over. That is going to be my gorilla doll. So, and I have two Patreon videos to edit as well. Um, that involve the gorilla. So there's two two parts that are going to be over on Patreon. But everything else is going to be on. Um, YouTube for free. Um, there's already two things up anyway, or three things up. So, sculpting the head, sculpting the hands and feet, and also um, uh, the 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 process overview sort of thing. Uh, so, if you want a little bit more, it'll be over on my Patreon for my five dollar and up tiers. Uh, this week, so this week's plan to mold the. Um, Tasmanian Tiger. I also need to sculpt the feet for that, but that shouldn't take too long. Uh, might take a couple of hours or so. Uh, shouldn't take too long. Uh, it's only small as well, so um, yeah, I can try and get that done this week. Um, I got my order of um, ball and socket armature stuff, so I'll probably include it in unboxing um, in this vlog, uh, and then I'll have to go through and uh, take some photos, do some inventory and stuff like that, um, and what bits I'm going to keep. Um, I'll only put a small, small little selection up uh, first off and see how that performs, um, uh, which will probably be mostly like 30 centimeter bits of three different um, lengths, uh, sizes. Um, and also three different sizes of the pliers, so I have, I think I've got four, four each. Um, and also the little joint sections as well, so the plus and the Y joints, i got a whole bunch of them. So I'll probably put maybe like ten of them up each, uh, just to see what it's like. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll unbox everything and see what it all looks like. It came yesterday. Um, which is good. Nah. Ooh. Um, and then, yeah, I need to take some photos of my Gorilla doll commission. So that can be wrapped up and ready to send out. Um, I have a little watercolour that I want to try and have a play around with. It is a Gorilla. I don't know if you can see. I did a little sketch. Um, there we go. The little sketch of what I wanted it to look like. You probably can't see what's in here, but if you've seen all my other watercolors of my creature's head with a little landscape sort of thing in there, that's basically what it's going to be like. Uh, so I've got uh, a tree, and I'm going to add some like foresty things in there just to see how it turns out, and also the gorilla head. Um, so I want to get that done at some point, and. Um yeah, because I haven't done watercolour like that in a while. I've also wanted to do some sketches. I started off doing some Okami sketches. So, they're not finished. I'm going to want to add some colour and stuff. Um, just so... I'm, I, I'd like to draw some more. <laughs> draw and paint. and um, It's nice to have things that I can turn into stickers and stuff as well. Um, so, I started off with some Okami sketches. I'll add some colour and stuff as well, probably watercolour, um, and just play around. I really want to find my niche, <laughs> my style of illustrations, I guess. Um, so I know it takes a long time to find the style that you like, but um, yeah, I really want it. It's always something that I've wanted to do, um, and I'd really like to do that, but it's just finding the time. <laughs> um, so yeah. So a little bit on for this week, not too much, uh, but we'll see what happens. I still have stickers that I want to uh, do a trial on um, with my Cricut and my new printer to see how they turn out. Um, but time, time, time. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much the update for today. Um, and yeah. <laughs>
Friday. Friday, Friday. Uh, I have a bit of time to do some stuff this week, so I want to try and get some stuff done. Um, but yeah, I didn't get a chance to sculpt anything, but hopefully today, since I've got a bit of time, I can sculpt the feet for my um, Tasmanian Tiger commission, um, and then I can mould it. So yeah, looking looking to, to be finishing that today. Um, I unboxed my big order from um, the company that I get the uh, ball and socket armature from. Um, so I will insert it in the video somewhere and just show you what I got. Um, so there's quite a bit of stuff to go through and um, take some photos of and put it online and stuff. But um, yeah, there's a lot there. Uh, I did a little watercolor study as well. Um, I did a watercolor of a gorilla with the um, forest background. So pretty happy with the way that turned out. I'm quite quite like it. So I might offer that as a print um, in my shop as well. Um, but yeah, I want to do more things like this anyway. Um, because I don't have that much time to do watercolor. So I've been sort of a bit slack on it. So yeah, I want to do some more stuff. Uh, it's got like a misty, misty sort of forest. Um, Okay, so my camera battery died. Um, yeah, so I was talking about the watercolour. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to offer this as a print. Um, I'm quite pleased with the way it turned out. Um, I'm not sure about the original yet, if I'll offer that up or not, uh, but we'll see. Uh, so there's that. I did a little, a little, little, uh, a little watercolour study with Okami. Uh, in just my little sketchbook, so uh, it's still not finished. I still need to outline a few things, um, but yeah, a little Okami sketch. I need to outline the little plants and the rest of the uh, blossom tree. Um, but I used uh, the watercolor paints, the Koi watercolor paints from the Sakura brand, um, and they're really uh, vibrant. They're really it got really good pigment, uh, so that's that set. Um, so, yeah, really, really like this brand. I got another brand, uh, another set, sorry, of the. Um, uh, it's got it's got fluorescent and metallic paints, so I want to give those a go. But for the right project, I think it'll look pretty good in um, like galaxy things. Um, so. Yeah, I think it might be okay. Um, I don't know how well it will translate in um, to prints though. Um, so yeah, I want to finish this page off. It's just a little watercolour study. Trying to get the hang of this sort of style. Um, because I'd like to do this style um, more often. Uh, so yeah. Pretty happy. So I'll probably do uh, a couple more things. What else have I got in here? Um, just to sort of get the hang of that style. Um, I just got to get my... Um, what's it called? Printable for this month, which is the Galaxy Watercolor. I'll insert the painting into this video somewhere. <clears throat> so I've got a couple of things that I want to scan. Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah. I spent a lot of time yesterday wrapping things as well um, to go out. Uh, which always takes a, long, a little bit of a long time, especially if there's a couple of things to wrap. So, um, yeah, there's that. So anyway, I'll probably uh, focus on doing the Tasmanian Tiger and getting that ready to mould um, today. Um... I'd like to do another watercolour study type thing. Um, and yeah. I think that's pretty much it to report on. Um, yeah. <laughs>
All right, I'm gonna end the vlog, um, but I'll show you what I did. Um, so I finished off the um, Tasmanian tiger sculpting. So I sculpted two little feet, um, and then I can mold them. So I made them sort of universal, so I only have to do two molds. Um, but I'll probably do the one mold um, using the two claws or paws. Um, so that's ready to be molded. Um, and I also just refined um, a figure that I'd been working on for a while. I wanted to make a figure of a, um, a Inari fox. So I had this sculpted a long time ago. Uh, it's probably like over a year ago now I sculpted the entire thing uh, with the intentions of it being a resin figure. Um, but I just never got around to finishing it. So I thought, I do still really want to get it finished, but I thought I would, um, seeing as it's going to take me a million years to actually do anything about it, um, I thought I would chop the head off and cast the head for now um, because I always wanted to do a head like this for a doll. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd finish this off and then um, mould it and cast it and once I've done that um, I can sort of carefully demould it and then put it back on the body. So I thought that was a good idea um, and I intentionally left the mouth open because I want to be able to put different things in its mouth so sometimes I have a sword or a scroll or something like that so I made it so they can um, so it can have something in the mouth universally um, yeah and then I can put different things in it um, so that works really well so yeah this is ready to mold uh, I don't know how well you can so yeah, pretty happy with the way it turned out and then once it's demolded um, I can stick it back on um, yeah I can stick it back on there and hopefully finish that off um, the reason why I've put it off for so long is because um, molding stuff Molding and casting stuff is quite costly, and I just don't know how well um, it would be to spend that sort of money when I'm not sure how well it would sell. So I could always sculpt it and then put out a pre-order, I guess, and see who's interested. But my Instagram's not feeding my posts out at the moment. It's really shit, and it's not... Um, getting any reach whatsoever even to my followers it's not getting any reach so um, yeah that kind of sucks anyway yeah thanks to my patreons um, uh, you can um, find it down below and you can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook at creatures of net my shop at creatures of net .com, and I'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>